make sure I read from this script correctly. Uh, but this is a great day for Shaw University. Uh, I'm excited to be here today to make a very important announcement. And that is to announce that we do have a, uh, a coach. And today on behalf of our president, Dr. Tashni Dubois, um, I'm pleased to announce that the university has selected a new head men's basketball coach. I'm, I'm sorry, football coach. Just finished basketball. <laughs> Just finished basketball. Um, uh, he is formerly the assistant football coach for North Carolina Central University, where he helped lead the uh, Eagles to an 8 and 3 uh, record this past season. Over the course of his two, two stints at Central, he coached defensive backs and outside linebackers and proudly uh, helped lead the team to two CIW championships in uh, 2005 and 2006. Prior to rejoining uh, Central's coaching staff, he guided his high school alma mater, Southern High School in Durham, North Carolina, to the uh, 2013 3AA state championship title. He's a winner. As a college student athlete at North Carolina Central, he spent four uh, stand, outstanding uh, seasons as an Eagles cornerback and earned all-conference and all-region honors as one of Central's career leaders in passes defended and interceptions. He played arena football with the Greensboro Prowlers in uh, 2000, the Carolina Cobras in 2001 and 2003, and with the Augusta Stallions in 2002. He is married to the former Dr. Kamala uh, Uzzle and uh, has a daughter named uh, Jayla. Shaw University's new head football coach is none other than Coach Adrian Jones. Coach Jones to the podium, I would like to take just a moment to read a special statement from our president, Dr. Tajana Ann Dubois, who sends regrets that she cannot be here today as she is traveling on our university business. Good morning. I, along with Chairman Joseph Bell and members of the Shaw University Board of Trustees and the entire Shaw University family, thank you for joining us on this great occasion. Today's announcement of Adrian Jones as Shaw University's new head football coach is one of ep epic proportions. Athletic Director Alfonso Card and I are confident that we have chosen the right person to not only lead the Shaw Bears to victory on the field, but one who will elevate our football program to an even higher level. As a leader, Coach Jones has proven that he has impeccable character that will serve as an exemplary model for our student athletes. He is a man of integrity and goodwill who, who is a winner in every aspect of his professional and personal life. Most importantly, he has a passion for our students and is concerned for their well-being, first as students and second as athletes. By now, you've heard of Coach Jones' accomplishment as a student athlete, an arena league player, and as a coach on both the high school and college level. I, too, was very impressed by his professional accolades. But during the times I interacted with Coach Jones throughout this very uh, rigorous selection process, I was most compelled by the fact that he has a positive energy about him and that he has a monumental vision for the future of this outstanding football program. I guess you can call him epic. I have no doubt that Coach Jones will lead us to victory after victory, championship after championship. We revel at the fact that we can now call him a proud Shaw Bear. Again, I welcome Coach Adrian Jones and his family to Shaw University. <coughs> Tashna Andrew Broy, PhD, President. Without further ado, I give you Coach Jones. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. First, I want to say I'm super excited. Very excited to be the head coach at Shawnee University. A um, couple thank yous. I want to thank President Dr. DeBroy, uh, AD Dr. Carter, um, my family, my mom and dad right here up front. I got a whole bunch of family members up here. But <laughs> the one thing, my mom, is, as she can say, a lot of phone calls that I had to call her, you know, crying about something, and the one thing she does is she's real hard in prayer. She believes in prayer. She, many a times, she prayed hard for me, and I fought through, you know, the, the thick end of things. There's one thing about it. It's not always going to be good things. You know, there's going to be some bad things, but the, 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 the thing is, you keep going. You keep striving to be the best, 
And that's what I want to do here at Shaw University. My dad, man, <laughs> we done had some times. My dad uh, is a military guy, so he was very, he was very disciplined. And I didn't understand it at the beginning, being young, you know. A lot of times I go in my room like, man, he gets on my nerves. But I, under, <laughs> I understand now, you know, being around kids and being able to, you know, uh, help young men. A lot of young men don't have father figures. I was fortunate enough to have a father that was hard on me and make sure I did everything right, and I appreciate it. Uh, to my wife, my beautiful wife, she's had my back, and she's been very supportive of my uh, football career. She is truly a, a, football, uh, a football coaching wife. She, uh, he's been behind me. It's been them long hours in the days, 10, 12 hours, but she's been behind me. She's been very supportive of my career, and I thank you for that. Uh, what's funny is I'm looking back here, I'm, I'm looking at the coaches from North Carolina Central University. My brothers, Coach Mack, it's been, it's been a pleasure, man. You know, uh, you believed in me, you gave me the opportunity. I can remember the first time we walked in the office and Coach Mack said, you know, what is your plan? And I told Coach Mack that I wanted to be a head coach on the, on the college level and I needed some guidance. You know, Coach Mack is one of the youngest coaches in the, um, in, in the profession. But one thing I can tell you, you can, you can learn from people that are younger than you. Coach Mack is excellent. He's a winner and I've learned a lot from him. You know, I had the right foundation, but you know, it took Coach Mack to get me to where I'm at now. Coach Taylor, very knowledgeable of the game, offensive coordinator, learned a whole lot. Coach Buck, wide receiver coach, Coach O, the O-line. I appreciate Coach O, because you know, I, I didn't know O-line play a lot, but I met Coach O, and man, he's a, he's, a, he's a great guy. You know, he's young and energetic, and uh, I appreciate everything he's done. Uh, coach Fundy, you know, we've had a relationship for a long time. You know, me and Coach Fundy, Back when he was uh, at Methodist College, he was recruiting kids from Southern Durham, so we built a relationship there. Uh, Coach Reed, you know, he was our GA, and, and, and as well as a lot of other people. You know, if I missed you, you know, I, I apologize, but my, my aunts and uncles, um, Gloria McNeil, Robert McNeil, and um, Sharon Williams, um, my aunts that are here, and, and my uncle as well, Ruby Jones. I appreciate y'all coming and being supportive. But let's get to, um, to the business, my goals. We're gonna bring back win we're gonna bring back a winning attitude in Shaw University. You know, um, one of my mottos is one team, one one ring, one dream. We're gonna win championships. I told the guys the other day, I mean earlier today, that um, we're gonna win. It ain't just about winning though. We're gonna win the rings. We're gonna win championships. I'm not here to win seven, eight games. I'm here to win championships. That's what keeps your job. And we're gonna win. And we're gonna win. We're gonna have a winning <laughs> ring. <laughs> As far as the winning um, um, part, we got to beat the streets. And my coaching staff, we got to get out because, as you know, we're a little bit behind, but that's fine. You know, there's still a lot of great, great guys out there that we can recruit. And that's the biggest thing, build, building the foundation and, and building a relationship with the recruits. So we're going we're gonna to beat the, the state of North Carolina down and, and, and the surrounding areas, Washington, D.C., the Maryland areas, Georgia, South Carolina, you name it. We're going to go out and we're going to try to find the best talent that we can. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a, a, a exciting brand here at Shaw University. We're gonna make sure that we, we please the crowd. You know we're gonna have fun out there. You know we're gonna um, want the band to be out there, uh, striking it up every time we put a, a touchdown in the end zone. So we definitely want y'all to be there. But we're gonna be an exciting brand. One thing I say, um, one of my mottos is a, a confident coach breeds confident players. I'm a very confident guy. I believe in what I what I preach, and I'm gonna make sure that my guys that are behind me they're very confident too as well. And I want them to, you know, be the best they can be. We're gonna be a, uh, we're gonna be an up tempo, no huddle offense that always will be in attack mode. We're gonna be very balanced. Defense, we're gonna be physical and always putting pressure on the quarterback, eliminating the run. And that's that's two things that you gotta do on the defensive side of the ball. Special teams is the reason why it's special teams. It's gotta be special. You gotta take pride in being a special team player. That's what wins championships, and we're gonna be good all the way across the board. As far as um, the alumni situation, we're going we're gonna, to um, build a, um, a, a great relationship with the alumni, not just me, but my coaching staff, and as well as players. And we're going to make sure that we are visible in the community. And the one thing, like I said, one thing we're going to do at Durham County Stadium, we're going to win football games, and we're going to be bringing an exciting brand. And once again, I'm very excited to be your next coach at Shaw University. Thank you.
Rock coach. At this time, if you have any questions for uh, Coach. Any questions? Yeah, Coach, one of the things, one of the weaknesses that we have is our corners. How do you plan to deal with that? Is that, uh, that well, I'm not going to say his name right now because we got to go through some of the proper channels, but uh, I've got a defensive coordinator that is, is, um, is a cornerbacks coach, and that is my, that's my trade. That's what I play. So I'm going to make sure one thing won't be on them. They're probably going to uh, get it worse than anybody else on the team because that's the position that I play. <laughs> Being at Southern Durham, I built a great relationship with all the coaches in the state of North Carolina. So we have a great relationship. And um, I've been a college coach before, so those relationships have been long. It's been over 10 years. But um, we've been doing a lot of recruiting at uh, North Carolina Central. You know, of course, we had just had signing day not too long ago. And some of those guys that we really liked, we didn't sign. And they're still out there. So it's a lot of good football players out there still. When do we start? Um, March 14th, y'all will be back from um, spring break. We'll have a meeting, and we, we're going to get rolling after that. So is it not that we're going to have a spring game? Of course. we got to have a spring game. we got to get this thing rolling. <laughs> How does it kind of feel to be back? You had success as an assistant coach at Central in back-to-back Saturday championships. How does it feel to be back and see how they are and try and move short towards uh, again? It's a journey that I'm looking forward to. You know, I've, I've, I've planned to be here at this point um, one day, and I'm finally here. You know, we're going to work hard, and we're going to win championships. One thing, I've won five, and, and it's an addiction. And like I told the players, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use their young turn. I'm trying to lace my other um, five hands. <laughs> <laughs> folks who support you in the stands, they're going to be coaching you, they're going to be screaming at you. Um, uh, when things don't go right, they're going to be calling you all kinds of names. There's a dude sitting behind me who coaches at every game. There's one over there in the corner who coaches at every game. So, uh, and then you're going to hear from Dr. Devin. So I'm going to hire you to deal with all of these folks you know, who are yelling and screaming at you. I've been there before. I've been a head coach. and. Um, one of my worst critics is my father. I can hear him yelling in the stand. <laughs> a couple times I have to cut up the mic so I don't even hear what he's talking about. But um, I'm very used to that. So you know, I got I got thick skin and short term memory. <laughs> They win championships, so we're going to get go out there. We already have some defensive line and offensive line in here, but we're going to go out and get some more defensive line and offensive line. The, the, bigger, the, the better your depth, the better, um, the better team you're going to have. And we're also you know, going to go get some skilled guys and some, some seasoned guys, but, you know, everything, every, every position, we're going to um, need depth. So we're going to look for every, every position we can. Question. Yes, sir. During the summer of our school is out, what are you going to ask the players? Well, it'd be a perfect world if they could stay around for the summer and we can, you know, get bigger, faster, and stronger. But, you know, I understand that some kids have to go home and work, you know, and, and make a little money. But we have a program for them while they're at home to work out. And we expect them to do that because, you know, when we get back from the summer, August 1st, or whenever our camp starts, they got to be in some type of shape. We don't want to get them in shape um, that week. We want them to be in some type of shape before they come in. Coach, I'm not sure how many kicks we had a chance to look at, uh, but how, how big, how quickly can we win? I mean, if you look at the games last year, we were in a lot of ball games. You know, so sometimes record is not really indicative of the type of team that you have. I don't know if you had a chance to look at the uh, uh, that much tape yet. I haven't uh, had a chance to look at much tape, but I, like you said, there's, there's been a lot of games that were very close. Um, and you said uh, how, how quick we're trying to win. I want to win a CIAA championship in 2016. I don't want to wait. But we're going to win regardless. We're going to have, we're going to have good structure. Like I said, I learned a lot from Coach Mack. 
on how to, you know, how to run a program. You know, I was right there on it when I was in high school, but you know, if, if by coming back to North Carolina Central, it made me a lot better. So we're gonna make sure we put surround ourselves around some good coaches and the players feed off the coaches. Big family man, you know. I'm all about family, you know. And, and kids being able to come sit down and, and talk to you, you know. I want to make sure the kids, the kids are, are safe, and they're they're doing what they're supposed to do, and, and giving back what I what I've learned in this in this profession and, and playing this game. It means a lot to me. I want to make sure that I give back everything I've learned from some great coaches. Eligibility, grades, eligibility. Student athlete, student athlete, student first. Um, but we're gonna um, one of the things we're gonna do, which I learned from Coach Matt, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a, a program where the freshmen come in and they're gonna um, go to study hall, you know, and, and, and learn how to you know go to go to class and everything. And those guys that are under 2.5 GPA, they're gonna go to study hall. But once they get over that 2.5, you know, we, we say they can they can handle themselves. But definitely, um, you gotta make sure those guys do what they're supposed to do. One hundred percent behind. Whatever you need me to do, I'm here. Thank you. That concludes today's uh, press conference. Uh, Coach Jones will be available for any one-on-one -on -one, uh, questions that you might have as we finish. I do want to get this announcement in. Uh, we got Coach Jones. Football gonna be very, very exciting. So season tickets will be on sale uh, very soon, okay? Uh, we open up September the 3rd at 1 p.m. Uh, against uh, Limestone College. We will have six home games this year, six, six. We need your support. I want you to buy a season